Estados Unidos by way of OC, Los Angeles, and the West Coast. Coming to you, repping Talifas, knocking out agendas of the cancel culture and 50 cracks, breaking down doors in Hollywood for La Raza. Yeah, my name is Jimmy Sincerely Duran, um, known as Sincerely because I sing Christian oldies. Uh, I've been singing Christian oldies for about the past uh, eight, about eight years. I have a CD out, plays on the radio all over the world. Um, I am a Christian. Uh, my life wasn't always like this, of course. You know, I grew up in the barrio, not too far from here. Um, but uh, I ended up in prison for doing a, a lot of violent things from the, the lifestyle that I lived. But um, now that I, I, I sing Christian oldies, my, my music does play on, on, uh, on the radio, but uh, not on Christian radio. It plays on different oldies but goodies, radio station, underground uh, oldies, and, and uh, it, it plays to the people that I want to hear it, you know? How did you get out of the hood, and what did they think? Okay. Actually, I, was, I accepted the Lord when I was a young, a, a young boy, about 11, about 11 years old, in Victory Outreach, right here in, in East L.A., and... Um, God touched my life, but then I, I wanted to live my own life at the same time. Ended up uh, doing my own thing, ended up in prison at the age of 22 uh, for shooting a couple people. You know, and, and um, while I was in prison, people were telling me about the Lord. I wanted to serve God. I always loved God, but I was running from him. But then one day, uh, one of our um, one of my partners, one of the road dogs that were locked up with me, he tells me, hey, Jimmy, let's go to chapel. So I told him, you know, like like anybody else would in jail what are you scared <laughs> and he didn't know that i had already gone to church as a kid and, and that i was running from god so he told me that his dad was a pastor and that he was running from god too but he wasn't ready to to commit so i went to the chapel with him and i believe god really spoke to me that day and he said that i belonged to him and that he had a mission for me so i continue to, to serve god since 1986 and um I wasn't always Jimmy Sincerely, you know, <laughs> just for the past eight years, I've been seeing Christian oldies. But uh, that was then when God touched my life and really dedicated my life to him that day. How did the homies react? The, the, the homies on the yard, my road dog at the time, <laughs> he tells me, just be real. He says, at first he says, say it's not so. And I told him, you know what? I, I didn't want to serve God in prison. You know, that's the last thing that I wanted to do. I was doing the Sureño thing. But he tells me, you know what, just be real and don't play no games or else I'll take you out myself. I understood where he was coming from, you know, and he told him I wasn't playing games. And, and so he didn't have to worry about that, you know. And what would I say to somebody that's working in the field? I'm actually uh, I'm actually working in the field as a mental health worker. Um, I'm, I've been certified for drug and alcohol counseling. I've, I've uh, also anger management. Um, crisis intervention, gang intervention. I work uh, right now currently with uh, California State Parole. So I used to be on parole, but now I get paid by parole, amen, <laughs> to counsel parolees, you know? And I, I, I actually faced uh, life three separate times, you know, and to the glory of God, I'm, I'm free, you know? So I've been in, I'm out now, and I'm sharing what God has done with it, within my life. And I know that if I can do it, you know, any, any, any of the, the, the people that are locked up right now can. I have a heart for the prisoner, but I also have a, a heart for those that are working in the, in, 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 in the mix, you know what I mean? As far as, as trying to reach them to get them out, you know? Those workers, they're, they're, it's all good. You know, like, NA is a good program, AA is a good program. You know, they have proven success. But I know that, that God can make an impact in a life and allow somebody to never stumble again, never go back. You know, I know they, they, they might slip a, a little bit, but ultimately they will not go back to the lifestyle that they used to live. Amen. I go to Victor Chino, the, the mother church under Pastor Sonny Arganzoni Jr., uh, the, the, the son of the fa our founder. I know that, that um, we've been called uh, uh, to reach what we call treasures out of darkness, those that are 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 the lost in society that nobody else wants to reach 
And I know that, that there's both secular and Christian, you know, uh, collaborations going forth, you know, and, and, and uh, as, far, as far as the, the, the people that are, are mentoring youth, you know, now, I, I, I believe you got to reach them young, but that's, that's prevention, you know, but then there's intervention and, and those, the, the hardcore, some people think that they can't reach them. You know, they, some people think, it says, well, they'll only be reached if they want to be reached, you know, but that's not true because God stopped me dead in my tracks, right? So if those workers that are saying, you know what, um, there's a certain element of people that, that, that we can't reach, don't believe that. That's a lie. You can reach them. They're, that, that person that has the, the hardest um, uh, exterior is actually usually the softest interior. You know, they're hurting inside. It's just a facade. It's a fake. It's a mask. And that could be that could all come down. Because when I was on the yard, the people that were calling calling on me were the shock callers. Hey, Jimmy, come here. As soon as we went around the corner, tears started to fall and ask and asking for prayer because they, they don't have all the answers either. <laughs> sure, they say only the strong survive. No, God can break through any wall. Amen.